Hey everybody, Chad Weiner here, Solution Architect at Fullscope, and today I want to review with you all the different reporting capabilities available in Dynamics 365. Dynamics 365 does have multiple flavors of reporting. Uh, those include views and charts, advanced find, Dynamics 365 dashboards, Power BI and Power BI dashboards, paginated reports, and custom SSRS reports. Here we are in Dynamics 365 looking at the active accounts view. And some of the things we can do when on a view is we can click a column heading to sort A to Z or Z to A. And click and holding shift on our keyboard will allow us to sort multiple columns at a time. We can also click this icon to enable or disable the filtering feature, which will allow us to filter a specific column uh, to a specific category. In this case, I'm going to filter the state column to only those that are in Washington. I can clear my filters by clicking reset filter here. The also great feature about views is that they go really well with charts so I can expand the chart pane from the right and I can potentially switch charts by clicking on the chart view switcher or I could drill down and interact with this chart. So if I click on the financial bar here, it's going to filter the list down to my nine financial accounts in the financial industry. I'm going to clear the filter that I just set and show you that by clicking on export to Excel, we can either export to Excel online or we can export to our local desktop version of Excel to further analyze or manipulate this data. The next reporting area is advanced find. Advanced find can be used to manipulate multiple records, export the data to Excel, or you can create saved views. To launch Advanced Find, click on the Advanced Find icon in the top right. This will launch the Advanced Find window where you have the ability to look for a specific entity. Maybe you're looking for accounts or cases or contacts. In this example, I'm going to look for accounts. You can also leverage an existing view to start off with its filters and columns, or you may start from scratch by clicking New. In this specific example, I'm going to only filter down the account list where the classification type equals tier one. So I want to filter this down to my tier one accounts. Clicking on results will only show me uh, accounts that are meet that criteria. So these are tier one. You'll notice how the tier one column is not on the view. I can switch back to the advanced find tab, click edit columns. I have the ability to click add columns where I can then find my classification field, check it, it'll put it on the window and using these arrows I can reorganize and configure the sorting. Clicking OK, I can click results, we can now see we have tier 1 classification. If I'd like to, I can save this view so I can reference it later on by not having to recreate it and call it tier 1 accounts and click save. And now when I click on save views, I can see that I have a couple of save views here where I can either delete or maybe share them with another user. And if I now go back into CRM and I refresh the page, we'll now see my newly created personal view where I can quickly filter down to my tier one accounts. The next reporting capability we'll cover is dashboards. Dashboards help bring together lists, charts, and various other content together on one screen. Let's take a look at what dashboards look like in Dynamics 365. Here we are on the Sales Activity Social Dashboard, and you can see it brings together some charts, uh, a listing of what's new, what records have recently been completed or created. Scrolling down, we've got a couple of, of additional charts showing leads and opportunity data, as well as list of records, all of my open activities. The dashboards are uh, interactive, so I can click on this button to enlarge the chart to get a better picture of a chart if it's, if it's a little small. I can also expand the record set behind the data. So here is all those opportunities that make up the pipeline. And if I wanted to drill into that orange develop section, I can click here and it'll filter down to the three opportunities that make up that orange section. If I wanted to then drill in by say estimated close date, I could drill in to see when those opportunities would close by month. So you can continue to drill in to charts uh, many layers. And you can go back 
and you can go to the home as well. Showing up a couple of additional charts and dashboards within Dynamics 365, we can track things like leads created by users and the tracking of the pipeline and how many opportunities are overdue by the estimated close date, as well as CRM does have some dashboards around user adoption and tracking your active users and who is using and creating, reading and updating so that you're a high performing organization and that you're driving user adoption. All users have the ability to create their own personal dashboards or you can save a system dashboard as a personal dashboard and tweak one or two components for yourself. And of course, these dashboards can be enabled for mobile so that you can view this information on the go in either a tablet or mobile phone experience. Next, I've been reporting is Power BI. Now, Power BI is a cloud-based suite of business analytics tools that enables anyone to connect, visualize, and analyze data with greater speed, efficiency, and understanding. It's got a lot of data sources, connections, really easy to use, drag and drop functionality uh, that really enriches and provides great visualization to your data. Um, these Power BI um, components can be embedded as tiles into Dynamics 365 dashboards as well. So here we are in the Power BI workspace, and you can either get started with some content packs provided by Microsoft or other partners out there, or you can certainly create your own dashboards from scratch. Uh, either way, you may want to click on Get Data to either get content packs or browse samples and solutions, or maybe you want to connect to your databases or bring in some CSV Excel files, or again, bring in some files from scratch. Um, I'm going to show you what these content pack looks like. So I hooked up the sales analytics for Dynamics 365 content pack. And what that is, is a set of visualizations, dashboards, reports uh, that allow you to see your information, uh, maybe in a different way and interact with it differently. So here we see some tiles giving us some high level overview of uh, the one revenue this year, how many opportunities we've won in the beginning of 2018, and just again, some high level metrics. Clicking into either one of these will take you to a report that has more detailed information around what this number means. We also have some visualizations around industry, so we can see the one revenue by industry. We've kind of got a good breakdown around these three categories. We can see the numbers in the corner, along with some, you can either have heat maps or distribution map charts that show uh, the relevance of number of deals or uh, dollar amounts and deals over a given geography. So a lot of really cool visualizations you can do within Power BI. Um, there is a mobile app, so this can come with you on your tablets or mobile phones. And as mentioned earlier, some of these tiles can be integrated with Dynamics 365 dashboards. Clicking on, say, one revenue may take me to a dashboard like the sales pipeline that gives me more information and actually clicking on a section will filter down all of the relevant information on the screen. We may also want to see something like the sales pipeline leadership dashboard um, again to see the number of deals by our sales reps according to revenue and top accounts and again a lot of this stuff is filter and interactable so as you click on records uh, you'll be given um, all of the charts and visualizations will dynamically refresh and filter. Let's head over to Dynamics 365 to see what this looks like possibly embedded into a Dynamics 365 dashboard. In Dynamics 365, once Power BI integration has been enabled, you can either create a new Power BI dashboard to synchronize an entire dashboard inside of Dynamics 365, or you can create a CRM dashboard and just pull in specific tiles within your dashboard here. So you can see I have a pipeline with a CRM view and chart along with a Power BI tile of top accounts and sales leaders. And by clicking on these tiles, we'll expose the Power BI report found beneath the surface. The final two types of reporting we'll talk about in Dynamics 365 are paginated reports and custom SSRS reports. If you cannot report on your data via the methods already described, CRM has built-in reports and a builder to allow for creating your own paginated reports. These can be exported to common file types such as PDF, Word, and Excel. They're also based in Fetch XML. To access these reports, click on the Reports tile under the Tools area, 
and by either running one of the out-of-the-box reports or clicking on the new button to run the report wizard to build your own. The development custom route, if all of the ways previously described cannot get you the reporting that you need, you do have the ability to connect to SQL Server reporting services uh, and build your own custom developed reports. Thank you so much for watching this video on reporting capabilities within Dynamics 365. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account director. Thank you.